My first Tour de France memory, I've got no idea why this sticks in my mind, but I remember I must have been, obviously, yeah, six, seven years old. Would have been six at the time, just before seven, seventh birthday. And uh, in the 93 Tour with like, this rainy stage, we was then on Yaskula and Indurain and Rominger just riding in the rain. That's the, I had no idea what stage it was or anything, but I don't know why that stage just sticks in my mind. But yeah, that, that's, that's probably my first memory of the Tour. Do you remember what you're feeling when you're watching it? No, no, just no, just I don't know why that sticks in my mind at all. I don't remember anything else about the stage. Just got this image of this group riding up the climb in the rain. So don't don't know who won. Don't know anything. It's just like that's it. So pretty, yeah, pretty obscure, really. On a on a personal level, what's your your fondest memory that you've had at the trip? Obviously, winning the stage. I mean, it's one of the most incredible experiences to have. Just that whole day went to plan and then, yeah, just coming across the line and not really realising the enormity of what I'd achieved until you're faced with this huge media scrum that's just, just after the finish line. So, yeah, just that's all definitely a yeah, very fond memory. And just and obviously my first, my first, the first time I got onto the Champs-Élysées in 2012, that was, uh, that was pretty special as well. So everybody builds that up to you and says it's a special moment and the goosebump, the so-called goosebump moment but yeah it's, it's, an, uh, it's, it's a special experience just riding onto the Champs-Élysées and that first time and yeah it's definitely what is, it, what is it about the tour that makes it such a, a unique event compared to all the rest of the I'm not sure what makes the tour so, so unique to everything else on the, on the calendar I think it, it's just a whole it's, that, it's this whole I don't know you could call it a monster circus whatever but it's just huge it's just it's the enormity of the race is just like nothing else. It's the people on the side of the road just, that never never ceases to amaze me how many people, like, just, it just never stops. It's every metre of the road is, is covered sometimes with the whole stage, you know, and it's, and then, yeah, just the, uh, it, it, it's, if you actually step outside the tour bubble and, I mean, actually in the peloton, it's, it's just like any other race, really, you know, it's a bit more stressful, a bit faster maybe, but it's the same, but, yeah, once you actually, if you actually take yourself and look at it from the outside, it's just this, it's just huge. I mean, it's it's this buzz, and I didn't really realise how much I missed it. It was going to miss it last year until I wasn't there and watching it on TV, and it's just this. It was something that was missing from my season. And yeah, I'm, I'm yeah desperate to get back this year. I mean, yeah, I don't know what to go into thinking of. I mean, it's, there's a lot of nervous stages early on, and. Where I'll be able to do in the GC hunt when we get to the mountains, it's it's kind of unknown. But the one stage that stands out for me at the moment is the Mudahui. I mean, it's it's a, it's the first chance for redemption from the Ardennes. Obviously, it was a huge disappointment for me this year. I was in incredible form and just got taken out in two silly crashes, you know. And it's, it's something that uh, that yeah, well, to, to have a, have a second crack at the Mille de Huy in one year, I mean, it's special, and to have it in the Tour de France is even more special. So, yeah, to to be able to win that stage and, and get the team off to a good start would be would be really really special.